April. Let's go straight to Jackie Rowland, who is live for us in Egypt's capital. And Jackie, in this delicate dance going on now between President Morsi and Scaff, I'm wondering if President Morsi will be asking Hillary Clinton for more support from the U.S. for this new democratically elected government. Well, as you said, Tony, it is very much a delicate line that the United States has to tread. And in fact, in briefings uh, by State Department officials before the Secretary of State traveled here, they made it very clean that, that very clear that they would be talking to all the various parties. They would be maintaining um, conversations, dialogue, both with civilian powers, military powers. And in fact, something that was very much underlined by White, ha White ha um, State Department spokespeople people uh, just as the Secretary of State was arriving and um, was that above all they want to avoid any new confrontations between the civilian leadership and the military leadership and we have of course seen this kind of confrontation going on in recent days over the fate of the Egyptian parliament elected by the Egyptian people dissolved by a court order which was implemented by the military then reinstated by Mohamed Morsi and then rejected once again um, by the judiciary the United States is very keen that this should not in any way derail the democratic transition and uh, Jackie, the, the kidnapping of two Americans in the Sinai, uh, I would imagine would be discussed in the context of the deteriorating security situation in the Sinai Peninsula. You were able to advance that story today. Yes, the whole question of security in the Sinai Peninsula is of concern, in particular to Egypt's neighbor Israel, that has this long desert border uh, with the Sinai, a very porous border, an area that hasn't been uh, very well maintained in terms of security or indeed other forms of government uh, by Egypt over the years, with the result that you have these Bedouin gangs, in some cases, roaming the Sinai involved in people tracking trafficking over the border into Israel and also as you just mentioned uh, kidnappings in particular the kidnapping on Friday of two American citizens a 61 year old man and a 39 year old woman I was able to speak to both of them very briefly on the phone earlier but I was also able to have a longer conversation with, with their Egyptian guide uh, Haitham Ragab who was also kidnapped and who described to me what had happened we kidnapped yesterday at uh, 2 p.m. We were on the way to St. Catherine from Cairo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we are in the middle of nowhere. I don't know actually where we are now, but we are in Sinai, but somewhere. I don't know where we are. Uh, the people so far, they are treating us in a good manner. No problem. Until now, they provide us dinner tonight and breakfast for today. For today. We have a problem. But the only problem is that the, the guy here, that his uncle is arrested. The uncle is arrested like three or four days ago. What he demand to release his uncle to release us. Well, as I said, we were able to speak very briefly to both the male and the female uh, hostage, uh, therefore confirming that they are uh, still alive. They said that they were fine, but obviously a great deal of anxiety on their part and to see this situation resolve swiftly. Okay, uh, Jackie Rowland for us in Cairo. Jackie, good to talk to you as always. Thank you.